Hey everyone, welcome back to the Figure Bit channel. This will be a comparison between all of the Hot Toys 1-6 scale Henry Cavill Superman figures. We've got the Man of Steel version in the middle, which was the first one to be released. And we have the Dawn of Justice version over here on the right, the second one to be released. And then this one, the Justice League Batman, as vibrant as he is on the far left. Let us dig in deep and find out who comes out on top. Now I want to talk about the box art for all three versions. My favourite is the Man of Steel in the centre. Just absolute perfection. I love that artwork. The Justice League version I give second place here. Not quite as pleasing to my eye as the one in the middle here, but I give second place to Justice League. Eh, third place goes to the Dawn of Justice box art. All very consistent across all of the releases from that movie by Hot Toys. And it is nice in the center if you look closely you do get some shots from the movie and if you look on the top there you can actually see superman kind of hovering in the sky so that's pretty cool but my favorite is definitely the man of steel box so here are all three figures standing together the man of steel in the center is the tallest of the three the same body i believe has been used for the justice league over here and the dawn of justice over here both of the smaller bodies have been painted silver underneath so that it kind of comes through the suit creating that kind of metallic look but with the lights shining on the Man of Steel here he seems to have a similar look anyway but I don't believe he has a silver body underneath. If we take a look at the S's on the chest and also take note of the cape the way it attaches to the suit the Justice League version here has a very vibrant S with the yellow behind it. Very nicely done. Slightly smaller S than the Dawn of Justice version and the Man of Steel version. So the smallest of the S's, but only by a little bit, to the Man of Steel version. Not as vibrant. A bit more dark in tone. And the cape seems to attach nice and flush. And then over here. To the Dawn of Justice version, which might be my favorite S of all three Superman figures. The Justice League version is gorgeous and vibrant, but I do like this Dawn of Justice version maybe a little bit more. I think I might be more of a fan of the darker tones for this Superman. And the stock cape is attaching nicely there and looks nice and flush to his shoulders. I want to take a look at the boots because you do get this kind of unsightly crumple here in the Justice League version. You don't have that on the Man of Steel boots, but he doesn't stand as secure as the other two do. Not so bad on the Dawn of Justice version. I'll zoom in on that for you. I mean, you can still see it happens. That does allow for ankle articulation, but it just looks a bit unsightly. Some of the Hot Toys Spider-Man Tom Holland Spider-Man that is I have the same kind of issue I remember my uh, homecoming version had that but again coming back over here to the Man of Steel it's nice and smooth and you don't see it at all coming back over here to the Justice League version and that's the worst of the bunch when it comes to the ankle wrinkles so that might not bother some of you but it certainly bothered me so the winner as far as boots go, just on appearance, I'd give that to Man of Steel. However, he doesn't stand as secure as the other two as I've mentioned. Now both the Justice League version on the far left and the Dawn of Justice over on the far right, they both have that very bulky top half to the body which does make the arms kind of stick out slightly and you can't quite get those arms flush by his sides. You can get them more flush on the Man of Steel in the center as you can see. Not perfectly flush, but better than the other two. But the other two, Justice League and Dawn of Justice, are definitely more buff looking than the Man of Steel. Look at that lovely line work though. All of the little details. Jumps out nicely on the Dawn of Justice. It was a different design for Man of Steel, which always struck me as a bit weird. Kryptonian suit. 
nothing on earth can even dent it so why would you need to redesign it and after the events of Mayor of Steel with the fight with Zod in Metropolis leveling half the city so many people dying in between the events of that movie and Dawn of Justice Kal-El thought I need a new suit <laughs> so shows where his priorities were yeah, there's no denying the Justice League version man I mean I love the vibrancy it's just beautiful I just wish the ankles didn't have that horrible wrinkle but there may be a way around that I'm sure if you well maybe not so much without damaging the suit you just have to live with it I guess let's talk about the head sculpts and the likenesses and skin tones so we'll start with the Man of Steel version. I still really like this sculpt. The paintwork is exceptional. I really do like it. And we got the hair just right for that first movie. And then over here, he's a little bit shorter, so I'll have to pan down, but already you can see how real that looks. Let me just, there we go. The skin tone on the Justice League is perfect for Henry Cavill. He's not super tan. He does hail from these lands, I mean England, so we're not the tannest of chappies, but I think they nailed it with this. Absolutely nailed it. That's probably the best of the bunch. Let's go over and take a look at the Dawn of Justice version. With she Blows. Ah, oh, you see, that looks amazing too. Super real. Just wanted to go hands free for a moment so I can pan around. Uh, it's the Justice League version. Beautiful cape on this one, too. They all have fine capes. I suppose you'd have to say the Man of Steel cape is the least impressive of the three. But all three figures are exceptional. Any one of these will represent Superman beautifully in your collection. No doubt about that. Don't forget to light up that comment section with your thoughts, your opinions. Let us know what you're thinking. Which one of these three do you think is the best? But it's interesting to look at the end of the arm on each figure. With the Man of Steel here, they've done away after the first movie with this kind of black finish end to the arm section I'm not too sure what you'd call that some kind of cuff maybe but then with the Justice League version they went with this really nice kind of design here I actually prefer that design over here on the Dawn of Justice version I just think that looks better to me I like the way it all blends together nicely and the colors it just seems to work so the old design on the Man of Steel and then the Justice League version and the Dawn of Justice which is my favorite when it comes to that section of the figure I like the way that looks the most it can't be denied, the Justice League version here and the Dawn of Justice version here certainly did not skip leg day. They are very bulky in the thigh area, whereas the Man of Steel in the center is a lot more slender, still athletic, still muscly, but definitely not as much as these two. Sometimes that does look a bit comical to me. It just, it's a bit much in the thighs. I mean, I'd need to, uh, I'd need to go on the internet and start typing in Henry Cavill's thighs, and I'm not too sure if I'm willing to do that. In fact, I'll tell you, I'm not going to do that. But that's what you'd need to do to find that out. And I think you probably want a happy medium between this kind of bulk and this more slender look, somewhere in the middle. It's just certain angles. That's always kind of jumped out at me on these later versions of Henry Cavill Superman by Hot Toys. The thighs do look a bit much. I mean, 
I've got to tell you, I'm kind of leaning more towards the BVS. This one right here. I, do. I don't know. I just, I've got to be honest. And I do like the pale skin, the more pale skin that just... It's really tough. I've got to be honest, it's very tough trying to decide which one of these is the better of the three. It's just personal taste for me when it comes to the tone of this suit. I really like it. I just think it works. He looks fantastic there. So I've just removed the Man of Steel version out of the equation for a moment just so we can focus on these two because they are very similar. It's mainly the paint app has changed and just colours on the suit. Not much else appears to be too different. The S on the chest is smaller slightly than the one on the Dawn of Justice here. I mean this S a little bit bigger than this one. It all depends. Do you want your more vibrant colourful Superman or do you want your sort of darker world? more realistic take on the character from uh, Dawn of Justice here with the more kind of muted dark tones, which I really like. I, I have my Christopher Reeve Superman figure for my more bright, vibrant look. Again, coming back to those ankles, it's less hideous on the Dawn of Justice there on the right and quite unsightly with the Justice League on the left. But that is pretty much the only thing that I'm not mad about. So I really am having a hard time here choosing one of these two figures. I think it literally it's going to come down to your own personal taste. They're both pretty much equally as fantastic as the other. I do slightly prefer this figure over here, the Dawn of Justice, but I am seduced by the colorful, vibrant tones on the Justice League, but both are absolutely fantastic. Looking at them both, I'd say the head sculpt on the Justice League version, slightly better paint apps on that one. It does look a bit more real, but it's a very close call. Also the cape on the Justice League just looks so nice and flush and just goes into those holes perfectly. But then again, so does the Dawn of Justice. Very, very tricky, folks. Very tricky. I'm going to bring the Man of Steel back in and then wrap up the video, but certainly has been interesting to see all three of these figures together like this. So all three together again. To wrap it up, folks, it's a very, very tricky call, and I'm not even sure what to say right now, to be honest. I'm leaning more towards the Dawn of Justice. I like the color tone, but then again, I love the more beautiful, vibrant color of this one. I borrowed this uh, figure and did a review on it and the true light review outdoors and the natural light and the sunlight it just it was just gorgeous it was a beautiful beautiful piece and i was very tempted to try and swap some figures to keep him but i let him go in the end let him fly away and i'm sure that will haunt me <laughs> i don't have a henry cavill superman in the collection anymore I still have my christopher reeve but no more cavill on the shelf so I'm going to see what happens in the future. Uh, here at the figure pit, we've been seeing quite a few cavils come in, as you can see. So I'm going to think about it. And maybe one day I will get back the... Maybe I'll get back the Dawn of Justice like I had before. Or maybe I'll go for the Justice League. Uh, but it's silly with me. I really do factor in the box art. You know, I really want a great looking box behind the figure. And there's no doubt about the Man of Steel in the center here has the best looking box by a long, long way. Also has the best looking base by a long, long, long way. But he's not as good as these two. So if you could Frankenstein together the ultimate Superman figure, you know, I'd want the box from Man of Steel. I'd probably want this body, but with that suit on it, but it wouldn't work because he's taller than him. And as far as the head sculpts, I'd choose the Justice League head sculpt because it's got the more advanced paint apps on it. It's tough. They're all beautiful pieces. And uh, just the vibrancy of Justice League over there. Yeah, that is an absolutely stunning piece. But let me know your thoughts, folks. Always good to hear from you. Make sure you check out our store online, where all these figures are for sale. And that's at www.thefigurepit.com. We buy figures from collectors in the UK. We also trade figures. 
So if you want to trade something with us to get something new, you can do that. We've got a lot of stuff in stock now, folks. A lot of DC. A lot of DC. we got Wonder Woman. we got Batmans. we got Supermans. we got some Marvel stuff. Psh, forget about it. Go ahead and check us out. I hope you enjoyed this comparison video. It sure was fun to shoot. I've enjoyed seeing these three together. Drop a like on the video, guys. Make sure you subscribe to the channel. Check us out on Instagram at The Figure Pit. Alright, take it easy. See you soon. Goodbye.